to the progress and the pan African headquarters of the economic freedom fighter of Liberia. Recognize the chairman of the economic freedom fighter of Liberia, former son Steve Kolba. Today we have come to speak on behalf of our community, the poor and oppressed people. At this time, permit me, in the la permit me to call on this podium the power tower of the economic freedom for the Bureau, the most powerful man parading the corridors of the Republic of the Bureau. Ladies and gentlemen, the economic freedom for the Bureau president, the CRC, Emmanuel Bongwe. These are the press. Thank you. Thank you for the, the intro and thank you, ladies and gentlemen of the media. Thanks to the national chairperson, thanks to the vice chair for economic affairs and all the members of the Central Revolutionary Council that are here to come to this press conference. Thanks to the leadership of the DOR for always being in time and doing what they had to do to keep this institution alive. Commandant of the Economic Freedom Fighters of Liberia, members of the religious community, members of the diplomatic corps, members of the student community, ladies and gentlemen. We have once again come in the ball politics of our country. We want to inform you that we, the economic 435,209 Registrants in phase one. In phase two, the register of one million three hundred and seventy thousand produced only seven thousand people. Member of the press, ladies and gentlemen, fellow citizens, and we're back for you to know that even the three thousand plus people. That the National Elections Commission has informed stakeholders of having that number cannot reduce to the 7,000. Even if they were to register seven times, 3,624 people can never produce to the 7,000 people. Rather produce 25,000. You can see the inconsistency. And even after deduplicating the list, according to the National Elections Commission, the figure in Maserato County jumped from 800,000 plus to 900,000 plus. 100,000 additional names. And the figure in Grand Paso County also increased. The figure in Moscow in my Gibi County also increased. The National Elections Commission that should be the most independent, transparent, bullet leading all to the future of our country in the next few days has been very inconsistent with the data that they've been releasing. We want to say this clear. Elections are not rigged on election day. There are procedures and events that accompany the rigging of elections. We strongly believe that there is a flaw to rig these elections and get the Liberian people well, not respected constitutionally. And these flaws are orchestrated through the economic community of West Africa. Once again, we have been forcing that position efforts. The National Elections Commission 
as well as foreign missions accredited to Morocco. We strongly believe most of the international organizations in Liberia that are coercing and asking the EFF to attend all meetings. They are now working in good faith to ensure a transparent relations. We strongly believe that if cares are not taken, we will revert this country to the dark days immediately after October 10. The people of Liberia has given a resounding message by the rallies across the country that they are fellow with this government and that they need a government that will represent their hope and aspiration. And for these international organizations and efforts to go now with the National Elections Commission, to attend to rig these elections, buckle us the EFFL, and we want to be very unequivocal once again. But any group of people who we attempt to abuse the will of the people to rig these elections, we will go after you. Any, let me repeat, any group of people. Who will then respect the will of our people on the battle lines and attempt to break these elections and put or impose a puppet government on the will of the people? We can assure you we will go after you. We will go after you with us because we have to do this to protect democracy. We can no longer allow colonialism and neocolonialism to survive. The attitude of trying to regulations and impose a government is an act of colonialism. We will not accept that. We want to inform the West that we will not accept that. We want to inform efforts that we will not accept that. A few days ago, a popular librarian journalist who unearthed the sixteen billion dollar saga officially informed the public that over the last few years, the elections in Liberia has been rigged by the West and airports. And he made that public confession. That nobody brought war. So if the Reagan in favor of George Weir, nobody will bring war. Let me inform all of the stakeholders involved for the electoral process. Those days, the West and Airports regulations and the women with impunity, and they impose on us a puppet government. That they used to rig elections and a puppet government they used to exploit our resources. And that's why today we have a situation of this country being 176 years of existence. We are still giving people to eat. We are not ashamed of ourselves because we allow situations that undermine our sovereignty. To assist. But the EFF is here to say to you that we will not allow that to happen anymore. So, those who are in the business of playing with the outcome of the October elections and planning to break these elections, they must be in the know again that we will go after them to restore democracy. The reason why you see in the Francophone countries, the coup d'etat has been the order of the day because the will of the people has never been respected. The French government has always been in the business of imposing leaders on the people in the Francophone countries. The people are gaining consciousness. Africans 
How can you have a relation? Break the election, extend the constitutional time limit, and you feel that nobody will wake up to point fingers at you, and you feel nobody will wake up to, to take actions. And all Air Force will do will be having press conferences and sending delegations, sleep in the best hotels in the region, eat the best meals, but they forget to address the core problem. In Liberia, we now have the core problem. And let me salute Senator Dillon Gallantry. If Senator Dillon has not gone to the National Elections Commission, they would not have released that purported panel bola rule. Political institutions by now should be in the possession of the panel bola rule so that we can hire our own technicians to check the list and see whether there are still duplicate listing on the final polar road. The media, you are also aware that in the southeast and other parts of Liberia, there were only eight children registered. Our constitution is clear that before one's vote, you must be 18 and above. Those former age children that they registered, they were done by CDC. Those were the processes that marked the beginning of the rigging of the elections. And we need to check that final bullet. Goal. And you are giving us a final bullet goal. And the chairman of the elections commission being so disrespectful and arrogant sat before the television and said, There's no law that compels me and the commission to release the final bullet. Goal. That was an out of arrogance. Even if there is no law, there's something in leadership called expediency. You must do that, knowing that we are a crossroad, that this country is at a crossroad, whether we like it or not. Those who stone the ring on Sunday, or September 7th, 17th, to march in the principal street of Morovia, to voice their anger, they need to be respected. They don't agree with those who march on September 7th. So you cannot sit on the television and say, no law comparing the commission to release the final bullet. That was our to all the political parties. And the commission must be very careful. The peace of this country is not in the hands of the political party. The peace of this country is in the hands of the Elections Commission. If this country revert to violence, it will be because of the attitude and the misconduct of the National Elections Commission. It will be because of efforts that is here and watching everything and doing nothing. It will be because of the so-called allies we have in Liberia. Those who say they are sending uh, Ozeba for EU, for USA. It will be because of that. And sometimes, we say they are sending these people to make us believe that they believe in the electoral process. They're sending these people, they don't believe in the process, they want to that joke us. To have us believe that they are sending Ozeba and this Ozeba will do the honest thing. They have sent Ozeba before. Philip Brown, in presence of those Ozeba that came before, said the regular elections. So it means this Ozeba always be in the business of working with the National Elections Commission and efforts to rig these elections. So how can we trust Ozeba for the EU? How can we trust Ozeba from the United States? When there is a precedent case that our electoral process has never been free and fair. Fellow citizen, member of the media, I close by saying, We will not accept any form of stupid election result. We will not accept any form of stupid election result. The Farmington River Declaration will come to cease to exist. The movement 
the elder Brown Asana and her people announced the result that does not reflect the will of the people. And yet they believe that they have all the machineries in place to break the versions. They must be told they have nothing in place. Because we are putting our eyes there. And if we realize this time we are not going to Supreme Court. Because the Supreme Court is a Jawia Supreme Court. Nobody is going to Supreme Court. We will demand the result in the streets. We will demand the result in the street. And we know how to demand our result. 2017, we went to the Supreme Court, we saw the outcome. And because a member of the Supreme Court bench took the early decision, he was responded and removed. So nobody on the Supreme Court bench job will be raised. Because they do not want to be removed, like Cabinet General. So they will start with anything the Election Commission will say. Remember, we have a pending case before the Supreme Court against the President. Up to now, the Supreme Court has not ruled in that case. The Supreme Court cannot be trusted. They have branch of criminals sitting down at the Supreme Court. They cannot be trusted. So the outcome of the election will not go to the Supreme Court. If the international community do not want noise in Liberia and one of country that will be peaceful. Let them conduct themselves. Let them tell George we are at the Elections Commission that we want a free, fair, and transparent election. Anything on the contrary, those who will get involved, I conclude one day to take your question, those who will get involved with that person, we will go after them. Because they are enemies of the state. We will not allow enemy of Liberia to live here we will come after you. Because only partners of Liberia should live here. Only friends of Liberia should live here, not enemies of Liberia. I want us to thank you. All right, so thank you. She asked you with big five questions. What a name. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Yes, sir. My name is Achi Bourne, and I report for Today Liberia Television. Uh, Chief, now that you have observed that the Supreme Court is uh, biased, in fact, those international observers, the lack of equals EU, that have uh, been sent to come and observe the process, you have uh, also, also understood that they are biased one of the other. What's the way forward? The way forward is for the Elections Commission to stop all the unscrupulous attitude. Let them begin to be focused and respect all the stakeholders involved in the electoral process and be transparent as possible. And by doing so, we are guaranteed of and transparent election. All the data should be in the hands not to have a duplicate list representing of the National Elections Commission and allow the Commission to release a final vote of all. We don't believe that this process will be free of them. Yes, so thank you. My name is Mike here by the report for Sky and Sky TV. I listen to the administration. We talk about the fees we have to the definition of uh, stupid elections. Open election result is the one that contradicts the will of the people. That's our democracy. So we'll fight for the democracy we want to protect. Yes, yes. Agnes should be the provincial of the cabinet and the state. There are information that are spreading among other governments. And as well as among other organizational people. Even the press conference that we are holding today. And the statement that is very resounding in that this information comes that if the ruling party cannot succeed in winning election, they then cause violations. So make sure that the amateur, if that happens, 
ought to be the position in the army. When contradictions occur, the people rely on their soldier to act. So if the government executes any form of contradiction, and the army takes what we support the army. We, we are not cowards. And the army represent the people. The army is not uh, the police. It is not any paramilitary structure. Of the country. You are one of the renowned journalists in the report. And you are saying that there is this in you know, Romans in the corridors of God. The larger point and a report for 420. The here that you are known all the time are uh, always uh, keep not remember you take the government quote. So this time around we support accommodations are removed in order for us to have a victory that we can celebrate. Is it democracy? My attempt has been due to the issue of the leadership of the government and the rescue mission is pronounced winner. What has been happening? What has been happening? Hearing people are resolved, and you, the journalists, you saw that. And you are seeing it across the country. For a statement and the level you carry in the communities and so on. Thank you very much. Thank you. So, those so folks, thank you so much for watching. This is how we come to Korea Date on this live broadcast.